So I had an email the other day from one of you who was uh, looking for the ab circuit that I made up a few years ago that was, um, was called something like, this ab circuit won't ruin your back. I created it for one of my pro players who wanted ab workout that he could do on the days when he felt fat. And you know who you are. <laughs> and so this guy sent me an email the, just the other day and said, man, I felt fat and I wanted to do that circuit and I couldn't find it. Uh, so I sent him the link, but I thought it was time to revisit this topic. So not only will this circuit help you on the days you feel fat, but it also is going to actually help you on the ice with your core stabilization without all that nasty wear and tear on your back that you get with exercises like crunches that really aren't helping you at all. So this is Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com. I'm a hockey strength and conditioning specialist who works with goalies and skaters. And my goal is to help you achieve your goals, live your dreams on the ice, by doing the right training off the ice. Let's look at this ab circuit. The eccentric rollout, same type of thing. So I just have a towel on my smooth surface and I'm going out, out, out as far as I can and then back up. Trying to reach out as far as I can. If this is as far as I can, I would just put my elbows down and slide back up. Ideally, you wanna try to reach out, 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 out all the way down and then come back up. But again, going nice and slow is the key. When you do the med ball smash, I want you to keep in mind and think of it almost more as a hip hinge exercise that uses your abdominals isometrically. So you come up and then you, you know, turn on those muscles in an instantaneous brace and then smash the ball down. But I don't want you to think of it as a crunch type of motion. The other thing, when you come overhead, resist the temptation to let it pull you into hyperextension. So think of really just bringing the ball straight up, hip hinge, keeping strong abdominals the whole time. So really they're having to work in different ways. Here, they don't have to work too much. We're using our back extensors. They're just working as a synergist. But here they have to turn on to decelerate my torso and then hold that contraction as we follow through and let my hips do their job. So it's similar a lot to the way we use them on the ice. If we're taking a shot, we're not really generating the power with our torso, we're generating it from our legs and then just transferring it through the torso, similar to how we do it in this exercise. Now when you do this drill, check out first, hey, how much does your med ball bounce? How much does it rebound? Some of them are really bouncy. So you could definitely throw it down and have it fire right back up, square off the button before you even expect it. So check it out first, you know, see, start easy. We use this mat a little bit to dampen the noise because there's a fancy ladies clothing store underneath the gym and sometimes we scare them, but also to damper how much it rebounds on us. So you're used to seeing me do rotary pass this way, facing the wall, but what we're gonna do this time, or sideways to the wall, I should say, what I'm gonna do this time is facing the wall. So here, but it's just coming off my hip. So it's getting a little bit of that rotation. I am using my legs in particular. I'm using my glute on the same side as I'm firing, but I'm getting those obliques involved and it's a quick rapid fire. So it's not gonna be a heavy, heavy, slow movement. It's gonna be quick. There, I wanna make sure that it's coming from my hips and torso. I don't wanna just use my arms to throw the ball. So I would do my reps on this side and then I would do my reps on the other side. So we'll start off in our good side plank position, elbow underneath the shoulder, coming up tall, lifting that leg just so it's parallel to the floor and then holding that position. So there's a, a crunchless ab circuit that you can do that will help you on days when you feel fat, but also have you, help you have a blistering slap shot that will almost take the head right off any goalie. Sorry goalies, I do love you, but sometimes you're gonna take a slapper or two. So <laughs> you can do them too, and then you can slap the puck back at the skaters. How would that be? This is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com and HockeyTrainingPro.com with your nice crunchless ab circuit. If you enjoyed it, just click on the like below, leave a comment if you have any questions. I really appreciate it. Cheers.